It was a cold and misty night when I stumbled upon an old, decrepit mansion at the edge of town. Its windows were shattered, and the wind whispered through the cracks in the walls. Despite the warnings from the locals about the place being cursed, my curiosity got the better of me, and I decided to explore its eerie halls. As I entered, the air felt heavy, and the floor creaked beneath my every step. The only light came from my flickering flashlight, casting long shadows that danced on the walls. My heart pounded in my chest, but I pressed on, drawn by an inexplicable force deeper into the mansion. After what felt like an eternity, I discovered a room at the end of a narrow corridor. The door creaked open, revealing a dimly lit chamber. In the center of the room, an old wooden desk stood, covered in dust and cobwebs. On top of it lay an ancient ledger, its pages yellowed with age. With trembling hands, I opened the ledger to find a list of names written in a neat, yet ominous script. As I scanned the pages, I realized that each name was accompanied by a date and a brief description of a sinister event. The entries told a chilling tale of betrayal, revenge, and untimely deaths. One name caught my eye, Samuel Hawthorne. The entry described a man driven to madness by a mysterious illness that claimed the lives of his family. It went on to detail Samuel's descent into darkness, culminating in a gruesome act of violence. The blood-stained pages seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy, as if the ledger itself held the memories of the horrors that unfolded. As I continued reading, I discovered that each person named in the ledger had a connection to the mansion. They were either former residents or visitors who had met a tragic end within its walls. The ledger seemed to be a cursed record of the mansion's dark history, a chronicle of the suffering it had witnessed. I couldn't tear my eyes away from the ledger, mesmerized by the unfolding tragedy. The room grew colder, and shadows seemed to move on their own accord. It was as if the very essence of the mansion had come to life, seeking to share its tormented history with an unsuspecting intruder. Suddenly, a soft whisper filled the room, echoing through the empty halls. You shouldn't be here, it hissed, sending shivers down my spine. I tried to leave, but an invisible force held me in place. The ledger seemed to glow with an otherworldly light, and the names etched on its pages appeared to writhe in agony. As I stood frozen in terror, the room darkened further, and the temperature plummeted. A ghastly figure materialized before me, a specter of Samuel Hawthorne, his eyes hollow and filled with anguish. He spoke, his voice a tortured wail that reverberated through the room. You've uncovered the ledger, the keeper of our suffering, he moaned. Now, you are bound to this cursed mansion, forever tethered to its tormented past. I felt an invisible force pulling me towards the ledger, and my hands involuntarily traced the pages. The entries seemed to multiply, chronicling my own descent into madness and despair. I was trapped within the blood-stained ledger, a prisoner of the mansion's malevolent history. Days turned into nights, and I wandered the haunted halls, reliving the tragedies of those who had come before me. The mansion became a living nightmare, a twisted realm where time stood still, and the boundaries between reality and the supernatural blurred. The townsfolk, aware of the mansion's curse, watched from a distance as the once curious intruder became a mere shadow of their former self. The bloodstained ledger had claimed another victim, and the mansion continued to hold its dark secrets, waiting for the next unsuspecting soul to cross its threshold. And so, the legend of the bloodstained ledger persisted, a cautionary tale whispered among the locals. The cursed mansion stood as a silent witness to the tragedies of the past, its walls echoing with the anguished cries of those trapped within its malevolent embrace.